All right, guys, I was waiting for my AC to turn off so I could start recording, but it's it's been a minute, so I don't think it's going to turn off anytime soon, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Hello, my name is Carla, and I am a makeup enthusiast who loves to create looks and have fun with the makeup that I already have. I occasionally review new products, but the main focus of my channel is to help you get creative with the makeup that you already own instead of spending your money on every new launch out there. So if that is something that you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like eyeshadow palettes and videos that talk about eyeshadow palettes, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, you already know what I'm going to be talking about. This is going to be my 15 top palettes for summer or not really top palettes because I will be honest, there's some palettes over here that I have never touched. But whenever I look at them, I just think about summer. So that's the reason why I included them here and I will make the biggest effort to include these eyeshadow palettes or to use them during this summer. Also, these are in no particular order. It, this is not a ranking. These are just 15 palettes that I think are really, really good for summer. And let's see if you have any of this so you can pull them out of your collection as just like I am doing right now. And I just wanna say I have a, I have a mix of indie, drugstore and high-end eyeshadow palettes. So let's begin with the first one. This one I have, this one that I have over here, I have never touched, guys. I purchased it last year because I knew that this brand was closing and all of that, or maybe not closing, I don't remember. They filed for bankruptcy or something like that. So I went ahead and purchased it before it was, you know, out of stock and everything. And I am talking about the BH Cosmetics Trendy in Tokyo palette. This one over here, guys, is just, look at this still has a wrap because like I said it's new but it's all just colors and this is like a rainbow over here you don't need if you have this palette I feel like you don't need anything else this is all the colors that you need you can create something just pink something red something orange something green something blue something purple like anything you name it you can create it with this palette and also this one is very affordable I don't know if it's still you know online or if you can still get it if you can i'm gonna link all of the palettes that i'm talking about in the description box down below if, if i if you can still get them and just so you know i don't get any commission for the links i don't have any affiliated codes any nothing just yeah i'm just putting them there so it's easier for you to find them basically anyway like i said this is the number this is the first eyeshadow palette that i have here that i think it's perfect for summer because of all of the bright colors whenever i think about summer i think of bright colors so unfortunately i have not reached for this and i i will make it my goal to use this palette at some point this month for sure all right let's jump into the second palette that i have over here this one is a small palette and it came it was released almost a year ago and i am talking about the natasha nona mini bronze palette this one guys you get four mattes over here in one shimmer and if you are not into colors but you really like your bronzy warm tones this one is for you if you are not a person that owns a whole lot of makeup and you would not know what to do with a bunch of options this is the one i'm telling you this is good it's a good palette i really love the formulation in this all of them are creamy mattes except for that um foil i mean th that metallic over there and it's just very pretty you can create very pretty looks but just so you know most of the looks that you create with this are going to look similar because again it's all bronzy tones but if you like natasha nona and again if you are not into colors but you still like that bronzy summer look this one it's a really good palette and if you have it in your collection you know pull it out maybe you can use this one for your everyday and i don't know try to touch pen on those those shades i should do that well, no, I already have a different palette for my project pen, so I'm not doing that, but it's not a bad idea. Next, let's move on to a, another drugstore palette. This one is from ColourPop, and this is the Coast to Coral. Now, whenever it's spring, I think about Baby Got Peach, but for summer, I definitely think about more coral tones, and I think this one is just absolutely perfect. It has many options from more pinks to more oranges or maroonish corals and i don't know why but this two over here just like a, you get your matte and your shimmer and they look absolutely beautiful if you have this palette i think this is also a good one for whenever you want a little bit of color but not too much you still want it to be wearable you still want it to look very for your everyday 
this palette is also, like I said, very good. And it's only $14 because it's ColourPop and it's amazing formula at a really great price. Next, let's talk about an eyeshadow palette that I am still not convinced about. I still gotta give it a try. I still gotta play more with it because the first time that I did, I just, I was not convinced. This one is not a give, trying it. This one is giving it a second chance. And I am talking about the Hella palette from Odin's Eye and Angelica Nickvis. This one right here, guys, the color story is absolutely beautiful. It's, it's just screams summer to me you get yellows you get greens you get purples you get pinks all the colors beautiful colors bright colors for summer and actually this look that i have today on i feel like i could almost recreate it with this palette because i used a pink similar to this and i used also one similar to this i used a purple which is not like this it's more purple like this but i don't know i maybe could do something very similar with this palette with what I you know have on today and I know that Liz from my makeup garden she has this palette on her like as a project her indie palette or you know where she's trying to touch pen I believe in every single shade in this palette and she has done an amazing job by the way and that's exactly why I want to keep I want to give this one another try because I've seen her looks her looks are absolutely beautiful whenever she uses this palette and that just you know gives me <laughs> hope I guess I want to say into keeping this palette and using it more I will again I will put it on a pile of palettes that I need to use or, and, or try again or give him a second chance because I do love the color story I do I think this color story is very very summery but again it was the patchiness and the quality that one time that I used it uh, that just I I, it, I didn't want to try it again I don't know that in I remember that, that day I was having a bad day or something and yeah it was just like a mix of things anyway this is not what this video is about this, is, this this should be a good video a happy video and all that so like i said color story wise perfect for summer i think it's a very beautiful palette but i am yet to keep playing with it and make myself like it just wanted to say that you know i don't want to be lying about me oh yeah i have used this this is amazing like i i, I used it one time guys <laughs> i used it one time and i am not 100 percent convinced but i'll keep i'll keep giving it a try next i have a more expensive palette this one is you know on the high end side and i am talking about the pat mcgrath bronze number no. five palette this palette is just absolutely beautiful for summer guys it's i don't know first of all i love the packaging of this is so heavy i don't know it's so pretty but look at this color story this is just 100 percent summer you get here this really beautiful bronze stone then you, you get over here this three very huh it finally turned off nice so hopefully you can hear me better now then you get this three special formula from pat that is just sparkly and pretty with this one over here is like a green ish there it is like a green ish then this i don't know it's just absolutely beautiful and not only that you also get here your more warm tones again you get like a bronzy shade or a bronzy shimmer you get your two browns that will just pair beautifully with any of these shimmers but you also get a purple over here that you can use to you know get more creative with this ones over here or this one's right here i don't know just you get so many options with this one it's so beautiful and obviously quality wise this it's Pat McGrath, okay? Her quality, most of the times, the quality on her palettes is absolutely beautiful. I will say this though, I would not recommend purchasing this full price because she's always running sales. Just get it on a sale. Just get it on a sale if you don't have it. And if you have it, use it. There's no need for us to put our bougie or expensive makeup up and, and only use it on certain occasions. Like, come on, just use it. Even if it's just to be at home you paid for it use it let's talk next about a more colorful it's still in the reds family that actually this one is very very red and i am talking about the main squeeze from color pop this is like from those monochromatic collections and this one guys come on red is summer whenever i think about summer i think about watermelon and what color is a watermelon it's red 
I wish this one though had a green, but I understand that they wanted to keep it monochrom monochromatic for the purpose of, you know, having their monochromatic collections. So I think they did a really, really good job. You get here some shimmers, although I'll say this, sometimes this too can look very similar. But if you play with it, if you play with um, packing it or it's building it up, you can definitely create some beautiful and varied looks with this palette. And again, it's only $14 if you are into reds or if you like wearing colorful eyeshadows during the summer. I think you would this one would not disappoint and it's very chic also. All right, I feel like I have a lot of ColourPop ones here. Let's go, but well, yeah, I do. So let's go ahead and talk about the next one. This one is an all matte palette from ColourPop and it's called Lil Ray of Sunshine. And I absolutely love this palette because you get, let me show you, it's yellow, it's yellow. I love yellow. Yellow, it's my absolutely favorite color in the world. So this palette is just absolutely beautiful for that because different than Aha Honey, I feel like that with this one, you have more variety. Plus it's an all matte palette. You get here a brown, which you don't get with Aha Honey. I feel like you can create more looks with this one and you can just grab a shimmer from any other palette that you have. You can either do a yellow shimmer, a gold shimmer or a champagne shimmer. I don't know, but it's easier to grab a shimmer from any other palette than trying to get mattes that work well together and that, you know, can build up or have different intensity, different tones for you to create a different look with it. So this one, if you like, but ah, here's the thing though. Unfortunately, I don't think you can get this one anymore, but if you have it in your collection, don't neglect it. I think it's a really, really good time right now to pull it out of your drawers if you have been, you know, just if, if you have forgotten about this one. And also, I think this one is also good for transitioning to fall. But again, it's also very pretty for summer. Just yellows in general to me. That's summer. So Little Brie of Sunshine, definitely a good one for summer that I hope I can uh, start reaching out more for my looks. Let's talk about another palette that I have with over here. This one is one of my absolutely favorite ones. One of my favorite looks comes from this palette. And I am talking about the Sugar High Artistry Palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. This one, guys, is just, I don't know. I love that this palette whenever it came out last year. I think it was in April. Like, I was waiting to get it. And I was lucky enough to purchase it on the first round and not have to wait till June, I think, that they released their second batch. But you guys, this palette, I absolutely love it. These shimmers are to die for. They're so metallic -y, so bright. Like, they don't disappoint. And you can get so many looks with this eyeshadow palette also. You can get your, you know, something pink. You can get something orange. You can get something more on the red side, purple or blue or, you know, yellow. There's so many options with this palette. It's insane. Now, I'll say this. The mattes are not, are, eh, eh. They are not the best. The shimmers, though, those shimmers are to die for. 10 out of 10 recommended, those shimmers. The mattes are okay. They're not the best, like I said. And this one, one oh no, I think it's this one. I don't know. One of these two, the blue ones. The blue ones do stain. Just want to say that. This is, uh, what is this? It's... It's pigment. It's, it's pressed pigment. So whenever you have pressed pigment, will it will one hundred percent stain your eyes? Just keep that in mind. If you, I think they they still have this palette on their website. I'm not sure, but if you have this one, don't neglect it. It's it's still very pretty, guys. I know that a lot of new palettes have come out, and there's so many colorful ones. I feel like there's more colorful things that are coming out. But if you have this one, don't look anywhere else. like don't don't look somewhere else you already have something very pretty and very colorful i mean do what you want with your money is your money if you want to purchase another one go ahead and do it but if you have this one make sure that you give it some love i for sure will because like i said one of my favorite looks comes from this palette and every time that i see this one that's the only look that i want to create <laughs> but like i said this one is sugar high artistry palette from menagerie cosmetics and let's go ahead and move on to the next one which uh, I am going to do this one over here. This one is a mega palette from ColourPop that I have not used. This is another one of those palettes that I, I need to put on my pile of 
I need to use this palette. This one is, like I said, it's, it's all good from ColourPop. I don't know if I said the name or not. I'm sorry. But this palette is absolutely beautiful, guys. And if anything, this palette reminds me of Barbie. Just look at this. Look, you got, you know, the purples, the pinks, and then some golds. I don't know why, but I look at this palette and I just can't stop thinking about Barbie. That's what this palette reminds me of. So you know what? Maybe I could, like, create a barbie inspired look with this palette and make it a reel or something because i don't know i don't think that people want to watch a tutorial of that but it would be cool to do a, a reel with this though like a barbie inspired look hmm. i'll definitely keep it on my list of things that i want to record in july this one it's still in ColourPop's website if i am not mistaken i don't know if it's out of stock or not but it's not discontinued that's all i want to say if it's out of stock it's just out of stock but it's not discontinued so I will definitely link it in the description box down below. This is like, again, it's very pretty, but I really like looking at it, but I cannot speak about the quality or anything because I haven't used it, but I will, I will. I'm going to put it in the pile of need to use or need to try again or, you know, all that. We have how many so far? Three, three. Yeah. The BH Cosmetics, this one and the Odin's Eye one. So we'll, we'll, we'll put them all together so I can use them. I should do something, some sort of like accountability, I swear. I'm, I think I'm on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, by the way, here's my handle. I'm going to make like an accountability post on Instagram about me using this palette. That way I can force myself to use them. Yes. And you guys can encourage me to, to use them. All right. Let's talk about the eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes today. I absolutely like this look. This is the second time that I tried this palette and I, I am not disappointed yet. The first time that I used this palette was with the palette bingo. So you already know which palette it is. It's my Natasha Noona Circle Local Palette. This is the one that I, you know, I was like, I definitely want to create something colorful, something pretty. And I just thought about this one. I was like, yep, I need to use that palette because it was very expensive and I want to make sure that I give it some love. So to create this look, I used um, cotton candy all over my crease. And then I used Joker on my outer corner. I used magic to deepen out the outer corner and then for my shimmers I use Razzle Dazzle Act and Aerialist for my inner corners and that's it and I absolutely love this look it's so like vibrant so pretty so just I am here and I don't know whenever again whenever I think of summer I think of bright colors bright everything and this palette is just absolutely pretty for that so if you are into bright colors and if you have this palette definitely make sure that again like I said earlier you give it some love because we paid for this okay it's our money and I much rather use it and touch paint and finish things than things going old and expiring in in my collection in my drawers so yeah Again, I really, really like this look. I am, I'm not going to say I'm obsessed because I am not, but I do like it. It's very pretty. There's something about Natasha Nunes mattes. They're just absolutely be beautiful, pretty. They rarely get patchy. If anything, maybe the cream to powder formula ones are the ones that are most likely to get patchy. Those are definitely not beginner friendlies, but I think that this one only has one or two spiral. No. No, I think it's only Acrobat. No, there's two. Acrobat and Funt Funtimime. Those two are cream to powder formulas. I personally like cream to powder. Not everybody does. And, you know, it's absolutely understandable why. But, like I said, another really pretty, beautiful, great palette for summer. 100% recommended. Yes. All right, guys. I am down to my last five eyeshadow palettes. This one is my last indie eyeshadow palette. This one, I have not used it. It's new to my collection. I purchased it. I don't remember when, whenever it came out, but it's the Sea Talk palette from Lauren May Beauty and Odin's Eye. This palette, I definitely need to give it a try. I am very intrigued by this color story. Here it is. Like, I am very intrigued by those shimmers. They look absolutely beautiful and also this electric kelp it's mm, it is calling my name you get here your neutral ones are in, in bronzy and this this is more like a cool tone i feel like this one's are cool tone this are warm tone but then you get here all the fun colors that you can mix with this and yes i am all about doing colorful 
inner corners so i i can totally see myself doing something like that with the electric kelp one but also mermaid scale like mermaid scale i want to use this with this night swim or i also want to use it with this uh dolphin tail i don't know it's just mm, you know what i mean like i really want to reach out for this palette i just have not because of many things haven't had time and you know i was really really trying to use the one for my project pen because i really wanted to get rid of which i mean not get rid of i just wanted wanted it out of my project pen and i did i did i got it out anyway because i finally touched pen and i should what i'm saying is this one is going to go on the pile of eyeshadow palettes that i need to use and try this summer and i'm pretty sure that this is going to be number one because i i just want to i really like i'm very intrigued by this eyeshadow palette that's all i want to say anyway let's go ahead and talk about the next eyeshadow palette this is a new one very very new one this is the newest palette in my collection and i am talking about the natasha nona you got palette this one guys i feel like a lot of people have said this this is a very good summer palette but it's also very good for that transition between summer and autumn this palette has all of those mustardy yellows that remind me of leaves kind of getting dry and falling off of the trees but you also get some vivid greens that are more in tune with summer so i don't know this palette is really really pretty i am really impressed with those sparkly foils natasha nona really outdid herself this time and quality wise i can definitely say i am very pleased with this mattes this it's a really really good palette if you got this one i'm pretty sure that you are using it i feel like people in general are more about using their newer the newest things in their collection or their things than older things i'm definitely going to be reaching for this one because i feel like it i want to reach for this it's just like a yes please all right next eyeshadow palette that i have this one is from colourpop and it's the lemon shallow palette this one is absolutely beautiful and perfect for summer. You get all the bronzy tones, guys. This is what this palette is about. Bronzy tones with pops of color. You get your pops of yellow, green, and blue. Everything else, 100% bronzy. Sorry. Everything else, 100% neutral bronzy tones. If you are not so much about color and you, you know, want or like some pops of color here and there and you have this palette, this is the one that will definitely cover your needs, especially if you're into the bronzy tones. Like, I feel like summer is just bronzy tones, so. Um, this palette, unfortunately, it's been discontinued. You know, ColourPop, they don't keep their collections for long. So you can't get it anymore unless you get it maybe on Mercari, Poshmark, or something like that. But other than that, nope, sorry. But if you have it and you're into this kind of colors, this is your reminder to take it out of your drawer or whatever you have it and use it again. Here I have another eyeshadow palette. This one is on the high-end side, so it's a little pricier. And I also think it's absolutely beautiful for summer. And I am talking about the Natasha Nona Sunrise Palette. Look at that. Ooh, it looks very pretty, the ring light with this. Anyway, <laughs> this palette, guys, I absolutely love this palette. Just look at this. Like, these colors are 100% summer. They look like sunrise. They look like the sunrays, but they also look like a sunset. I feel like these colors over here, glory, clove, and, you know, these more purple-ish colors are definitely more of sunset. And this one's right here. You get very beautiful, very neutral, very wearable, everyday colors. And this is just a very beautiful palette. Like, I do, do like this palette. I just I don't want to use it. You know, like, this is one of those palettes that I just, I just want to reach for because of those colors again. And actually, the look that I created with this palette, I feel like I can create something very similar with this palette because it looks like a sunset look. So, definitely this palette. I should give it a try and try to do something similar. I don't know. I am all about very purple with pink with, I don't know, again, very sunset looks. I feel like this palette is absolutely perfect if you want something more colorful or also if you want something more neutral, wearable, everyday, you get both of them here. And if you like warm tones, of course, because this is it, this one pulls very warm. And yeah, you can still get this eyeshadow palette, not on Sephora anymore. I think you can only get it from Natasha Nona's website. I am not sure. 
but if I find it, I will link it in the description box down below. Quality wise, this one is not the best Natasha Nuna palette whenever it comes to quality. I don't remember if this one was her first midi, I think it was, but um, I'll say this, quality is not bad, but it is not where her other or newer palettes are at. It's a little bit more difficult to work with this one, but I, I do think like if you have the time and if you have the skills to work more your eyeshadows, this palette is definitely beautiful and if you're, like I said, into this color story, you won't be disappointed. I mean, no, you won't. You won't be disappointed with the, the looks that you can get, but it will take maybe a little bit more effort for you to get the looks. Just a little bit. It's really not that bad. It, it really isn't. It's just not the same as with the other ones that are more like one and done almost. All right, guys, we are down to the last palette. And I will say this. This is another palette that I have not used. Okay, don't come after me. I will use them. Like I said, I'm going to make that post on Instagram. Again, if you don't follow me, oof, sorry, if you don't follow me, go ahead and follow me so you can, you know, poke me and be like, where's the look? Where's the look? Where's the look? Where's the look? I'll explain what I am thinking about doing on Instagram about these palettes that I have not touched. So here is the ColourPop Play Jewel. This one came out in November 2021, I believe. I Maybe 2020? I don't remember. One of those two years, okay? 21 or 2020. But this is how this palette looks like. It's very jewel tones. And I think, again, jewel tones, bright tones, summer tones. This is summer. And not only that, you also get over here some pale neutrals to match it or mix it with. Or if you one day are not in the mood for the colors, you can go and reach for the, the neutral ones or the more lighter tones. Or the opposite, if one day you are not in the mood for this, you can go ahead and you can go and reach for the more brighter tones. It you know, you get many, many options with this one. I cannot speak about the quality. I'm pretty sure that it's just, you know, your regular color pop quality, which it isn't bad. And these palettes for the price and the amount of product that you get, they are really, really good. So this I believe this, I believe all of their mega palettes are still in stock. I'm not sure if I find it. I will link it in the description box down below. But like I said, this, I look at it and I really, really like it. I really like all of the jewel tones in here and how pretty and colorful it is. I am a sucker for colorful eyeshadow, guys, if you can tell. So whenever I saw this one, I, I was like, I, I need to get it. So that's what I did, but unfortunately I have not used it. So I am going to make the biggest effort, not the biggest effort. I am going to make myself use these palettes that I've said that I haven't used and that here I am recommending to you because again, visually I look at them and I, I, I see summer. That's why I'm recommending them to you because if you have a similar taste in makeup like me you are going to you know just like this colors for summer if you don't that's absolutely fine we can have different opinions we had we can like different things and we can still be friends so but anyway guys play a jewel from color pop pretty for summer color story wise quality don't know anything about it because i have not used it but this was the last palette that i had for you guys so those were 15 palettes. Nice. I don't know why I feel like I'm being awkward in this video. I I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. If I am being, let me know, please. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm being just weird. I don't know. Like if I haven't spoken to the camera in a while, but that's not true because I have. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. I am sorry for the weird rambles and everything. I feel like my head is just all over the place. I don't know why it just feels weird right now. I know that I do have a lot of things in my head still, even though it's summer now. Thank goodness. I, I still have things that I need to do for work. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm not done yet. But at least I don't have to go to work anymore. And I don't have kids at school and all that. But I still have things from work that I need to do here at home, unfortunately. So... I feel like that's just taking over my thoughts and all of that. But this is my fun time, okay? Makeup is my fun time. Between makeup and working out, those two things are like 
what gets me out of my head. Yet, here I am. I don't know what's going on. But, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if you like eyeshadow palettes, if you like, well this is not a ranking, but if you like, you know, seasonal palettes, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little notification button so you don't miss any single one of my videos. And I will see you on the next one which should come pretty soon and i should also be starting pretty soon my series of makeup based on fruits so if you don't want to miss that make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also follow me on instagram here is my handle and i will be posting over there an accountability post about these palettes that i have not used please guys help me out with that i will really appreciate it anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one Bye.